Welcome to the final Pulse of the 2017-18 school year. My name is Wade Smith, Superintendent of Walla Walla Public Schools. You know, as I've been out and about across the many classrooms in the district these last few weeks, I've just been amazed at the incredible effort and hard work our, our teachers and students are putting in every single day. And, and we're really starting to see the fruits of the labor pay off. And it's, you know, it's so important as a superintendent and as a district, we celebrate those successes. And we've just received some updated assessment scores just this morning, actually, I was pulling off and looking at some of the great results we're seeing trickle in across all of our schools and campuses. And I, I specifically want to highlight a couple of uh, a real shining stars and, and really accomplishments that we're starting to see. And you know, looking specifically at Blue Ridge, you know, a shout out to, to all the staff there, but looking at their fourth and fifth grade ELA scores, seeing 15 and 25% increases over last year at this time. So congratulations, Blue Ridge staff. You know, as we look at our English language development program, as we bring in our, our sheltered instruction and, and our constructing meaning and our various uh, systematic ELD work, especially at our, our younger grades, we're exiting more and more kids out of the English language development program this year than we have historically. And again, shout out as we uh, support those students as they master not only their native language but English language as well. Looking at Pioneer as we go to the middle school programming, seeing a 14% increase in 8th grade English language arts performance. Again, amazing accomplishments. And as we go to Garrison, math scores up 10% over where they were last year at 7th grade. And so we're just seeing so many successes across our campuses. Again, I want to specifically thank you for your incredible work, uh, not only from our staff, our students, and our community, but also our board who has supported uh, in, in unprecedented levels, new curriculum and, and professional development to make sure our teachers are empowered with, with the state-of-the-art curriculum, that have the technology in the hands that they need, and the supports to wrap around our students across our district. You know, since uh, the board unanimously approved the, the no tax increase replacement bond measure at their May 15th board meeting, I've been getting a you know, number of inquiries and questions from, from internal staff and, and, and external constituents about, you know, when is that bond measure coming up and where can I learn more about the bond measure? And, and just to remind, you know, our, our internal uh, stakeholders as well as our constituents across our community. You know, our, our uh, communications director, Mark Higgins, has done a great job kind of memorializing what's really included in that uh, no tax increase replacement bond measure. You know, it covers all the safety and security improvements. It covers the renovation rather than replacement of Walla Walla High School, including the renovation of Pioneer Middle School, Lincoln uh, High School, and a number of other critical district-wide improvement efforts. So to learn more about uh, what's included in that bond measure, uh, to learn more about what, again, is, is placed before the voters on November 6th. I always like to remind people to learn more what's included in the November 6th uh, no, no tax increase replacement bond measure. You can always visit our website. It has great information about you know, what's included uh, in the proposal. Uh, it has information on the bond oversight committee, on the no tax rate increase, and also cover, covers other uh, uh, um, implications such as the, the impact of McCleary and what that will mean through significantly more tax relief down the road. You know, as we close out this school year, I couldn't be, be more proud of, of the amazing accomplishments we collectively have, have amassed uh, this school year. Uh, it's been a pleasure and an honor and a time to really celebrate uh, those accomplishments. Uh, I specifically want to call out our graduates of distinction, three very deserving uh, uh, members of our community, and uh, class of 1966, Terry Atchison, class of 1971, Dr. Randall Barton, and lastly, class of 1995, Dr. Elizabeth McDonald, for their uh, amazing accomplishments as, as really models of, of what we, we hope to emulate and all of our students can look up to as, as really uh, role models for them as they graduate and walk across the stages of either Lincoln or Wahai. And lastly, a shout out to our, our graduates of the class of 2018. Uh, I know that myself and the, some 600 staff members and thousands of community members and parents are so very proud of, of your efforts. And we look forward to watching you blossom and shine, whether it's off to college, career, or whatever endeavor you hope to pursue, as we have truly developed Washington's most sought after graduates. Mm -hmm.